Welcome to SRB TV. We are here. Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of SRB TV. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at Peacemaker Season 1, Episode 7, Chapter 7. Stop dragging my heart around. Dragon. Drag or Fire. Dragon, that's what he, you remember the puns that you keep using in these titles. You keep I forgetting that. That's what I'm saying. That's why he said so previous, stop dragon. So previously on peace. So previously on Peacemaker, um, things started to go to the hell pretty much. Yeah. Um, his father finally got out thanks to Judge Judy. Not mm -hmm. joking about that. Um, and just when they're finding out that, well, uh, at the bio is finding out that Mern is a butterfly, find out more of the backstory, just yeah. as, oh, that's going down. We found out, well, not even that, we found out, uh, find out a lot more about the butterflies as well, about him specifically, and how pretty much they were there originally just to find a home, that's it. But there is a, you know, you know, but he... Pretty much was sent down to stop this rogue butterfly that's pretty much yeah, they, taking over humans without their uh, permission in a way. Yeah, so basically they were there to escape their planet, things were going great, and then one of them decided to all this fucking take over the world because we can. And so the leader just so happens to be the one that Peacemaker uh, Yeah, Goff, that's what his name was, is Goff. Goff. And that's the one that Peacemaker had this, and it had this whole time and... Just when, again, pretty much they got the warrant, they got the, his father out, but now it's like, guess what? Now we're going after Peacemaker himself, and this as they're trying to escape, Goff gets out and goes into, her, into the most serious... Mo I, at this point, I favor Cop at this point, because she, she was really cool. You know, taking over her, and next you know it, she calls on recruits. Let's put it that way to yeah. take over the rest of the, the police department. The police and department the and in there. And yeah, the, the police department and uh, the people in the jail cell, pretty much overall. And now they're using the diary that was found in Peacemaker's place to put him as no, enemy number one. Yeah, the reason Believe why it. these deaths are happening overall is saying making him sound like he's crazy. You know, even though it's actually true, but making him sound like he's crazy. Oh, but we did get a really nice piano rendition of Home Sweet Home. Yeah, we did get that. Um, he still doesn't know about uh, uh, Mern. Mern whatsoever yet, because it's still kind of because even that last episode was more of nobody's telling me shit situation again, nobody's telling him anything, you know. So it's like it's we're back to square one with the group where it's like they don't now they still don't trust each other. That's what we're dealing with. Um, but now, yeah, now it's it's time for a lot of shit to go down. We got again his father suiting up in his old. Uh, Outfits, and then we get the group now. The the, the 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 butterflies now. The group of butterflies in the police department going after them as well. So these next te next two episodes are gonna be fun. So let's dive into this for Peacemaker season one episode seven. So here we go. Home sweet home. <laughs> it's a bit Sean, but it still rocks. So cool. Do this. Is that white power? Not quite power. It's the devil. It's rock and roll forever. And tongue kiss hot face and smoke pot all day. Yeah! yeah! Come on, Chris, don't be a pussy! Oh, Marie, I'm so hard. I like how he fucking blames him, but... He's doing the worm. I mean, that's not how you do the worm, but... Every cop in the country now looking for him. It's like every coming up at once. Don't fuck your guilty brother! I'm sorry, you told us to fucking fight! You piece of shit! You dumb fuck! You killed your brother! You know what? Fine, fuck it. If I enjoy it, I wouldn't let people's judgments hold me back. I collage all sorts of shit. Yeah, that's cool of you. Yeah, it is fucking cool. Can I make a collage of three of us fucking some chicks with a bunch of dolphins around us? Doing oh that. my god, dude! For watching me fuck. Where are you going? Is you letting me? Might as well get this done before they find us. What done? Kill this fucking cow. 
I love how the eagle doesn't fly out. Because like, that would have made walk. no sense. Yeah. At least he kind of put, put together that was her. Because it's only one of them that's actually chilled with him. He's Waller's daughter. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You think I wouldn't do a background check and anyone come to work with us? I don't know how your weird butterfly brain works. She also planned Pat the to... diary. I figured. She probably shouldn't have done that. And if she did, she should have waited until after we've completed the mission. But that guy on TV... It's true. He's our man on the inside, which means he's compromised. <laughs> I fucking trusted you. So he said, it's like last episode, it's like. And he what? makes a good point. Why didn't you wait till after, after the, the mission was completed? I'm sick. He's getting mad. Don't always ask me lucky charms. He's clearly Asian. You fucking. 395 North. Advance the contract of road. I've got eyes. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Sacrifice himself? But he kicked it near him! Yeah, but I think the blast pushed it back. Yes, yeah, I don't see a body or anything. Oh, no, yeah! He is badly wounded, though. Look at him. You left your keys in the car. <laughs> Vigilante's still in the car! He's like, you left your keys in the car. Vigilante's like, fuck it. So what do you want to do tonight? You want to go to the club? Or <laughs> to be fair, they deserve this. Yeah, they do. Honestly, they fucking deserved it. Yeah. Racist assholes are probably assholes to the That's why. Store that's why I said. That's why they were probably dicks on the inside as well. That's why he's giving the thumbs up. I wonder, are they aware that they're butterflies? Running like a spaz. Let's go. I think he put on an animal. Did he put on an eagly? Uh, they're an eagly? Oh no, a raccoon. Imagine what would happen if a man just walked up and grabbed a wild raccoon. Look <laughs> at his face! Look at that! I was like, wait, did he get caught it? No, the raccoon. <laughs> I just love it. Did you leave your keys in the car? I'm sorry. Aw, oh, damn. Well, he won't be in season two. You murdered him. The alternative was what? He was a warrior. Without him, his outfit. They didn't no know he was one of them. Two clowns in costumes. And with the walkie-talkie on, now they're, they're hearing. They're hearing everything. <sighs> God damn! I don't know why that was really fucking sad. Somebody say something, because remember, he was all about... Oh, damn! You I mentioned mean, getting more shots than fucking Peacemaker did. Yeah, ooh, damn. It's all distraction numbers. Yeah, robo-dope dumb shit. To be fair, he yeah. fucking deserves this. Tracking device with Peacemaker's helmet. Uh-oh. What? He has the bag in the back of the car. The bag's in the car. I didn't know. I thought they were expensive. It's true, he didn't know. Yo, young. Oh, fuck. Start the car! Start the car! <laughs> fuck, no. Oh, no. he's, he's like, oh, I feel bad for a composer. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. <laughs> uh, that's a... Kill you, motherfucker! I'm still remembering what Vigilante said in the in the when we first ever saw the suit. God challenged me, as he did. 
That was a lot. I know, right? Oh, yeah! Like what he just said. What, okay, you gotta remind me. Remember, he said there's a weakness in his armor. He saw the weakness in his armor. Yeah! Come on, don't take no fucking names! He found the weakness in his armor. You couldn't do it, you faggot. Because I control you. Whether or not I kill you. Somebody else is going to kill him. Yeah. No! Oh, shit! Yeah! Fuck you! Do we really have to kill these people? No. No, they're just... So you're compassionate about tape, but not brutally murdering people. <laughs> exactly! Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know what? He's honest. The hug. The hug! Picture! Somebody take a picture! Remember, she didn't believe him before that the eagle hugged, hugged him. him. Yeah. The picture. Picture! Somebody take a picture! But sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's do this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. You, you come sure you don't need the help? No, you just die. <laughs> I love how the nurse. You know what? They, they they were cool. They were cool though. <laughs> I just like how they're like, you're gonna die. Surprisingly nice people considering. Except for the guy in the blue. Yeah, that dude's a fucking mess. Yeah, even they know. Vigilante's a mess. God. That's the thing it's yeah. the fluids. Yeah, they're showing I don't, I don't, I, I knew this was gonna be gross, but it's still gross. You're not scrubbing hard enough. <laughs> he's, he's laughing! What's your way up? Linger in the middle. Linger in the middle. Keep going a little higher. It's losing it! He's losing it! Swing the hips. <laughs> So that 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 was a really intense episode. Very emotional episode. It was. It really was. Because again, because you had to deal with different things that are coming their way, and the first person they had to deal with was his own father, um, literally chasing them down. Uh, yeah, this was fairly more emotional than I thought it was going. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. It's pretty much in this episode was more of at this point. Um, this episode was more of handling his father first, and then we, and then the finale is like the whole actual main point where we're a part of the story, which is the butterflies. But it's generally surprised he's the one who kills his father. Yeah, I honestly thought he was gonna at least either shoot him somewhere else, or like you said, vigilante was gonna do it instead. You know, somebody to the side was gonna do it instead to shoot him. You know, uh, instead of doing it, because I thought he was just gonna probably just wound him or something like that, to where it's like it shuts him the fuck up or something. You know, but he did it. There were some unintentionally funny moments, like the, I love the nice little touch how they put like scar scratches. Yeah, over when, yeah. When he's like, he mentioned going, I didn't realize how hard it was get just to get a raccoon, and he sees his face. It's like, yeah, that 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 explains all the scratches all of a sudden all over his face. <laughs> there were a lot of good moments, like satisfying moments, heartbreaking moments in this episode. Like even Vigilante had a really solid good moment. Yeah, like, like twice. He had two good moments. He had pretty much one where. He helped him at least try to get away, even though he had to sacrifice a little bit of piece of himself a little bit. You know, and then the second time, where it brought back up the, uh, when he first saw, saw the armor, where he's like, there's a weakness in his armor. And he used that, pretty much, to his advantage, where he weakened the armor. Oh, and it was so satisfying seeing Peacemaker beat the show of his dad. Oh, yeah, that's why I love it, too. Oh, man, he did a great job. John Cena did a great job in this episode. Uh, emotionally, let's put it that way. He really brought his character out even more in this. And I swear, yeah, I was gonna call bullshit that Eagle died. I'm call fucking bullshit. Yeah, no, he just got knocked to the side. But you know, but he really let it out on his dad. Where even he was like, let his dad know going, if anybody killed uh, killed Keith, it was you. You're the one who killed him. You know, stuff like that. And of course, his dad, you know, you look a bitch. You know, type of situation. <laughs> you know, um, is it, and then you, you still have that good moment even with. Uh, with Leota, pretty much, where it's like about the whole father, uh, you know, father, but mother type of situation, and just 
the crap she's in and stuff like that, where it's like... And a really satisfying fight scene between Harkor and Juo Master. Yeah, exactly. We're, and a really sad... To be fair, he's a bit of an asshole, but those two at 7-Eleven uh, customers fucking deserved it. Even, the, even the, the pretty much cashier was just like, thank you. Because that means, just means they, they were dicks even on the inside as yeah. well. You know, you had that... Um, you know, and it was sad to see Mern go, because it was one of those things, and what was cool is that even the butterflies did not know about Mern, because they were like, they thought he was just, because when he got coming out of the mud, they are like, holy shit, he was one of us, what the hell? And that's why they were shocked when it was, he, they killed one of the own, where it was like, you killed him. You know, such a situation, because even they were confused of how they knew about the cow. And who boy, they realized how big the fucking cow was going to be. Yeah, that, that, that too, that, that, that too. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, sorry. It's going to make for an interesting finale, but go on. Um, but I really like, too, uh, uh, Leota's change of heart overall. And that was just that moment, you know, where she saw Eagly pretty much hugging hugging him. Because even, like, that, it goes back to what he was saying, going, miracles do happen. And remember, she's always said, that he's always, there's always a, he, he's always she had a She senses that there, 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 is a, there is a good side of him. There is a good part of him. And seeing this, and seeing me, that's why I like it when she called him up going, I saw... A fucking eagle hug a man. What? Where's this going? <laughs> you know, where it's just like that was her point of like. And he got the selfie too. Yeah, he got the selfie. You know, but I like it too, where it's like she got that. That was the moment where she was just like, I have to stick this through through to the end. I have no other choice because it's like seeing that and seeing where the group is. It's like yes, I got fucked up. I fucked up the group. I, you know, I messed up with the peacemaker. But you know what? Um, I, you know, it's like I. I I have to, I have to, I have to see this through fully. Um, yeah, that's why I even, I did like, I, we, we, you brought up a good point too, which is like, he really doesn't really like anybody if he, you know, if he curses at them. That's why he or doesn't he, like them. Or he, he does this thing where he kind of like hesitates about what he said or what's being said. He but it's has like a hesitation. He, he has a hesitation. You could tell there he has a bit of a hesitation where he didn't curse at her. It was more of like, you know, it, it's like he understands where she came from. But he didn't like how she handled it. That's the thing. So he still he still appreciates her, but he just has to still be pissed off at her, you know. Um, and I love the nurses. I love that scene alone where they're like, "Yeah, let's do this, do this." And all the nurses are just standing going, "Yeah, let's fucking do this." And the cocky the shotgun is just like, "No, no, no, you guys are gonna get killed. You guys are gonna get killed. You guys are gonna stay here." Mm -hmm. And I love even how they admit it, going, they even admit it going, they're all pretty cool, but that guy in the blue. He's weird. He needs some serious help. You know, but Jalanti going, he needs some serious freaking help. But, but yeah, um, and, and we do love it. Uh, was it the after the, the, the after credit scene where the different lines, they approached this, but we saw why they had a reason because all, all of them, that one police officer to the right who just could not stop laughing. I mean, if I was him, I would be laughing too because it's like, this is supposed to be a serious moment for this guy. And... Everybody else is taking it seriously. You're just like, I can't. I really can't. Yeah. Probably, I want to. I, I really want to know. Is like, are those lines that they they were trying to experiment with, or were they just like one of those James Gunn moments where they did with uh, John Cena with the whole when he named the list of celebrities. Same thing with him going. Just go with it. Give us different things. Give her ideas. And he just went with the flow. You know, that's what I want to know for that scene. You know, where it's like, because yeah, that cop losing it. That cop was laughing his ass off, literally. But so. But this is again. This is a this is a good solid episode to lead into, which I already know it's gonna be a freaking a, a, a crazy finale, because they have to go up against all of those other butterflies. It's gonna it's gonna get crazy in the finale. That's all I can really admit at this point. Yeah. You know, and I can see Judo Master probably helping them out at some point at the yeah. end. You know, but. It's gonna it's gonna be crazy. So other than that, folks, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button if you want to talk to us more about stuff like this. Comment down below if you want to share us around, share it around, and if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else. When it comes to talking about DC original series, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. What do you as well. think about uh, what possibly could happen in the finale? Because like I said, it's either crazy, but just things that could happen possibly. Because I mean, like you said, it's like they're going up against. There's a lot that's gonna probably happen. Um, Probably uh, get another cameo from um, Amanda Waller. Um, get one at least one final cameo at least because we. Had um, uh, Ed Bio kills a first person. Um, 
Uh, Kamis is a badass again because we didn't talk about it in the episode. He fucking mowing down the red dragon. Yeah, him. like I said, we could possibly get you know maybe Judo Master showing up and possibly, you know, possibly maybe helping them. I don't know. Maybe he finally sees that what they're trying to do, and it's like, okay, let me join you guys. Yeah, Second situation. Who knows? Um, but there's a lot that can go down. There's a lot of things that can happen. Uh, Peacemaker. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with him because now he's got. All, if you think about it, now he's, throughout the season he's had a full change of heart. So I definitely see maybe possibly him turning maybe a, a new leaf at least. Maybe trying to do, you know. Remember how you mentioned all oh, the Batman stuff? He's a pussy. Then maybe he starts to turn a new leaf on why it's like why maybe why we sh I shouldn't kill every goddamn person and get peace. You know, type of situation. Maybe this is his moment. Who knows? Um, but this is. Like I said, you know, what did you guys think of this episode? Did you guys have a great episode? Did you think this episode was uh, awesome? It was a sad to see Mern go. Um, you know, it was a really cool. Any any favorite moments besides the end credits? Any fa favorite moments or one-liners or just scenes that just stood out to you the most? Whether it was funny, serious, emotional, or anything like that. Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, with the finale, as always, uh, just around the corner finale. We get the, when it comes to these finales, we get them out as soon as possible to get your guys' reactions out of waiting a full on week to get this out as soon as possible. So, like I said, we'll probably have this episode, and probably the next day we'll have our finale reaction immediately, uh, hopefully, immediately on the next uh, uh, day. But uh, put down what you thought of our reaction to this essential episode. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. And of course, on the next episode of SRB TV, Tackling Peacemaker, of course, is the season finale episode with Season 1, Episode 7. Eight. Eight. I say eight. eight. Chapter yeah. 8. Chapter um, 8. It's Cow or Never. Really? They already have the name of it? Okay, cool. And of course, if you want to check out our reaction to the previous episode of Peacemaker, you can check it out right here on the or channel. Just watch our reaction to the rest of this. See uh, see the series or any other DC series. Yes. But until next time, no, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Mern filled, filled episode of SRB TV. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.